Each morning, you wake up with certain expectations. You drink it. You give it to your children. You expect it to be available, always. To you, it's entertainment because it's always there, anytime, all the time. It keeps you clean and healthy. It's always there. You expect it. Without it, your body begins to shut down and you will eventually die. We take water for granted. 6,000 miles away, it's a different story. The average American uses almost 100 gallons of fresh water a day just because we can. In Africa, 70% of the country has no choice but to use polluted water every day. The consequences are devastating. Water sources are mud holes with life-threatening diseases such as dysentery, cholera, and typhoid. 3.6 million people die each year from water and hygiene-related illnesses. 2.2 million of those are children under the age of 5. That's the population of New Mexico every year. Almost 1 in 5 children will die before their 5th birthday. Just to stay alive, Africans must travel 30 minutes each way to get water to live. Plenty of fresh water. We expect it. They dream of it. Matthew 25 says, When did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you something to drink? When did we see you a stranger and invite you in, or needing clothes and clothe you? The king will reply, I tell you the truth, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers of mine, you did it for me. My name is Kylie Lindsay, and the Lord has put it on my heart to help the children of Africa. It sickens me to think of children dying just because they don't have a clean water source. I have a three-year-old sister, and I can't imagine her having to struggle, become sick, or not even live to see her fifth birthday because her water supply is polluted. But with your help, we can save lives. We can help bring them that fresh water that they need. We can help them drill for water and build a well to save the children. Each well costs about $10,000 and lasts up to 50 years. That's only $200 a year to bring fresh water to a village of 11,000 people. Even if you can only donate a dollar, you can help bring fresh water to Africa. And if you can't donate, I ask of you one thing. Please, pray for them as they continue to fight their daily fight to survive. God promises us that our prayers will not go unanswered. Thank you again and God bless.